it's time to review some of my favorite photos that I took this week. And it was a pretty eventful week. I started off uh, on Monday and I did, uh, I spent a considerable amount of time at New Bedford High School. Now, New Bedford High, I graduated from New Bedford High and um, it's, it's gone through its ups and lows and it's a little bit on the rebound. So I spent some time there going through all different types of classes. And I think one of the most important things when you're photographing students is the ability to become invisible. And the way to do that is simply communicating as little as possible with students, with teachers, with anyone. You're just there with a camera and the more you communicate, the more it is about you. Because they'll be interested in what kind of camera you have, why are you taking photos, who are you with, what's your name, blah, blah, blah. So your impulse is to be like, yeah, you know, I came here, I used to sit in the same exact seat that you're in, but no, it doesn't matter. Stay invisible by speaking less and getting to the idea of the reason why you're there. Uh, you know, try to use everything in your arsenal, be that slow shutter speeds, long lenses, wide angle lenses. If you come back and every photo looks the same, that's, that's not interesting. So put everything you have into it and hopefully you'll come back with, with a, a compendium of work that tells a story. Now the next day, on Tuesday, um, I was about ready to leave when I heard about a fire in the south end of New Bedford. So I, I get there and unfortunately two dogs passed away. They didn't make it out of the fire. And I see this guy coming out. He arriving, he didn't know that his dogs had died. So all of a sudden he breaks down, he falls on the ground, he faints, and then he throws himself on the back of the truck where his dogs are, the bodies of his dogs are. And it's hard to photograph things like this because you really don't know what it is that's happening in front of you. But as a journalist, you have to, you have to be respectful, obviously, but you have to respond as well. And the way to do that, again, is to use that visibility cloak and, but that only comes with experience and the way to do that is slowly approach you know don't go over there like paparazzi style and, and that's not the way we operate we're, that's not what we're there to do we're there to tell stories so that people see what it is that happened and and maybe be, grow a connection to an event they have absolutely nothing to do with they might live on the opposite side of the world but you can't deny that it's an emotional moment if not only for this guy but the other people that were involved in the fire as well um, I, I also stopped at Joseph Aboud, um, who is a, uh, a designer who makes high-end suits, and he has a, his plants actually in the north end of New Bedford, and they make all the, the suits for the uh, NBA coaches. So I hung out there for a little while. This is part of a very long project that I've been working on called Made in the USA. So I spent some time there, and it's kind of funny that this guy is ironing with the Celtics. Uh, Jersey uh, yesterday yeah yeah see like this is an example of a photograph that you see the potential and you just have to be patient if these guys are going up and down on the lift and you can predict that maybe if you come back the next day they'll be a little higher and that's not high enough and maybe if you come back the next day they'll be a little bit higher and eventually you'll get there patience is a virtue man I, I was never patient when I was young I don't know what happened to me when I started putting a camera to my face. I, I don't know. I, I just became patient overnight. I don't know what happened. Um, and today, it was the last day of Benny's, which is a retail store that's been going on for, that's been in the area uh, all over New England for quite a while. And today was the last day at the Dartmouth store. And I just hung out there and, I, and you know, you know, like the sun setting behind the Benny's uh, sign i thought it was kind of cool so again if you see something you just sit there be patient and i literally sat out there for maybe 20 minutes and then while customers were walking to mostly to that direction then one guy just came and walked straight by me and i got that photo you have one split second got to make it work that's how journalism works that's how photojournalism works it's not the idea of making it happen it's letting things come to you and they will you just have to be patient